So what is this meeting between Sanders and Clinton tonight? I guess it's something like this. Look. Look, Secretary. You said one thing, but you have a history of doing something else. So what are your actual positions? Do you support the DPP? What will you actually do about health care? No, no, no. I, I heard what you said in public. But I want to know what you'll actually do before I decide what to do. Two things. First is he has to believe what she says, and that's hard. So she can't just tell him what he wants to hear. He'll know if she tries. And the second is that there has to be some kind of actual upside. She has to make some sort of concession. And that's hard, too. Don't assume the outcome of this is predetermined. She doesn't see him as an insider. She's not likely to really open up. She's more likely to see him and everything about him as a liability. So, I mean, he, he's trying to sit her down and figure out what she actually is going to do. And based on what she says, he'll make a decision on whether he wants to support her or not. But I don't think that... I mean, the, the whole... He, he's trying to get enough information that he can make an informed choice, right? But I, I don't think he's going to get the information, right? <laughs> because she doesn't want to give it to him. Because she doesn't trust him. Maybe the irony of here, right? Nobody trusts Clinton. The end, Clinton doesn't trust Sanders. And the reason she doesn't trust him is she doesn't trust him to keep a secret, right? She doesn't. She doesn't. Doesn't trust him to lie, <laughs> you know. So whatever she tells him is going to be based on political calculations and you know all, all those kinds of you know typical Clinton stuff, right? When he he just wants her to be honest, and I don't think that's going to happen. And if he can't get that straight answer, he's not going to endorse her. Okay, not until he can get a straight answer. Not until he knows what her actual positions are, what she's actually going to do, what endorsing her actually means, right? I mean, I, I, I think that, you know, most um, informed observers can get an idea of that. Nobody really thinks that she opposes the TPP, just as one example. Nobody really thinks she's going to do much on health care, but like, like, what exactly she's going to do on health care is not entirely clear. Is she just going to uphold the status quo? She says she's going to fight for universal coverage. What does that mean exactly? You know, does that mean a law that, you know, does... <laughs> Obama's health care plan was a law that says that you have to buy health insurance. When she says guarantee universal coverage, does that mean that she'll increase the, the penalties? Like, what, what, what does that mean exactly, right? You know, if, if you don't buy the health insurance, we'll send you up the creek. Like, like, like what does what does it mean, right? And, and nobody should expect him to take a hard position until he's better informed. And it's hard to be informed on what somebody's positions are when they don't tell you anything that's true. And everybody knows that they don't tell you anything that's true. So, I mean, everybody, you know, assumes, expects, you know, it's just a matter. No, he has to actually know what she's going to do first. It's so sane that nobody can understand it.